Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the kitchen. And this is gonna be a tutorial on the easiest way I have found to make cake pops. So I've made probably over 100 cake pops of different designs. And uh, the easiest way I've found is just to use your basic cake mix, just in a box. I just use chocolate, and then I also buy the frosting from the grocery store. Compared to making it all from scratch, this is gonna save you a lot of time and you know this recipe is gonna work. For the design, we're gonna be doing a chocolate with blue. So we'll do some blue striping on them. And what else we're gonna need is cake pop sticks. So they either have plastic or these wooden kind of cake pop sticks. I wouldn't recommend these plastic ones because when you're making your cake pops, they're gonna need a stick onto here, and these just seem a little bit too slippery where they're not gonna stay and they're just gonna fall off. So, I bought these ones on accident, but at least I could show you guys. But these are the cake pop sticks I'm gonna be using today. The first thing we're gonna do is just make our cake how we normally would. And if you heard that beeping just a second ago, I was preheating the oven, and you're just gonna follow the directions on the back of the box. Nothing too complicated here. Now you might not have a kick uh, mixer and I was thinking of not using it since this tutorial is for beginners and making cake pops so you might not have all this and you don't need it because I, we literally just got this this Christmas. So don't worry about that. this cake is gonna look like so it doesn't have to be perfect once it is done baking and we let it cool off we're actually gonna crumble it into pieces so yeah don't spend too much time on this step and then we'll go ahead and throw this in the oven at 325 degrees and once it's done and it's cooled off we'll crumble it up we'll add in our frosting and then mix it all together put it in the fridge and let it cool for a bit Okay, now that our cake is finished cooling off and baking, we're gonna go ahead and crumble it up. Now, this is my first time doing this. I'm gonna try throwing it in the KitchenAid and see if it'll crumble it up for us. If you don't have a mixer like this, pretty much all I do is just rub them together in a bowl and that's how I crumble them up. We're just using the plain old chocolate frosting. I do buy this one with the sprinkles because even though we're not gonna be using the sprinkles, it's the same price and we can save them for another time. Now for this part, you wanna be careful that you don't add in too much frosting. And I usually end up using like one third of the frosting container. And I'll put it on a plate and put it in the freezer. For reference, this is about how much of the frosting I use roughly, like probably even less than one third of the container. And then we can just save this for later. So while our cake is in the freezer, we're gonna go ahead and melt the chocolates. So as you saw, we got this dark blue chocolate and this milk chocolate. And right here I have this coconut oil. So the coconut oil is to make it a little bit more thin. That way it puts less weight on the cake pop when dipping it. So again, like the frosting, we're only gonna add a little bit at a time. So now that the dark blue chocolate is all heated up, this is kind of what it looks like prior to putting the coconut oil in. And it's just a little bit too thick and too like chunky. So you just wanna start off with the, the tiniest bit. I can already tell the difference. When we lift it up, we want it to smoothly fall. Let's see, like that, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and do the same with the milk chocolate. Heat it up a little bit and then stir. And then we'll heat it up a little bit more and then stir. And now that our cake has been cooling off for quite a bit, it's definitely the right consistency right now, easy to work with and easy to shape. So let's go ahead and make some cake balls. And 
you don't want them to be too big because they'll fall off your stick. So just about that size is a, is a good size for them. The nice thing about this cookie dough is that you can go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag if you're not gonna be making all of them because it does probably make about 40 cake pops depending on the size, 30 to 40. Just throw it in a Ziploc bag and save it for another project. So you don't want them to be completely frozen, but you do want them more hard. That way when you're dipping them in the chocolate, they are more secure to the stick. For this design, it's rather easy. It does take both hands to do it. And you're gonna have your dark chocolate and your blue chocolate. First we'll go with this one. Now I have this stand for after I dip them, I'll let them dry right here that I got from Hobby Lobby. But if you don't have a stand like this, you could also use these foam blocks that you can get from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I just got them in bulk from Hobby Lobby because I use a bit, quite a bit of them. So let's go ahead and dip that. And then you want to be very careful so they don't fall off the stick. And to get the excess chocolate off, you just tap it. And as you can see, it's already dried. Now we're going to go ahead and decorate them. And for this one, it's going to take a little bit of coordination with two hands. And this is why they, we want that blue chocolate at this good consistency. So you're going to hold your cake pop in one hand, probably your less dominant hand because it only has to stay in one spot. And then if you're right-handed or left-handed, you're going to use that one for the spoon and pick up the chocolate and you're just gonna bring it across so it leaves a stripe on your cake pop. And this is the result of doing it that way. Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial on how to make cake pops the easy way. As you can see, it is very time consuming regardless of using cake, bo cake box mix. I think they turned out looking really good. I wanted to show you guys this design because it's pretty easy. It does take a little bit of coordination, but it does leave them looking really fancy. And they even look even cooler if you add some sprinkles to the stripes. If you have any questions about making cake pops, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and I hope this helped you if you're a beginner making cake pops. Just be patient because you will have mess ups, I know I did, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.